With FC25 player ratings starting to come out, we have been looking at cards that are going to be really good at the start of FC25. Today, we're going to be looking at QPR players, though. As a QPR fan, I always make a QPR past and present every single year. And with Evos being added last year, I was able to have a really awesome, fun QPR past and present team. Now, this year, obviously, we're getting Evos again. Also, goalie Evos, hopefully, which will be pretty awesome. So it means that I won't be stuck with a 73 or 74 rated keeper again. But we're going to look at the QPR players in FC25. So if you are a QPR fan or if you're just here for the ride, make sure you drop a like on the video. Drop a comment down below for any cards that you think they've got bang on or players that you think maybe they didn't quite hit the mark rating wise with. And without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the keepers and we're starting off with Nardi. 73 rated, the same rating as his rating last year. Obviously, ignore all of the in-game stat stuff because that's obviously not particularly relevant. That's just all incorrect. But the face value stats should be relatively accurate to what they should be. Um, the in-game stats for the outfield players are all correct for the in-game stats, but the face values could ever so slightly differ. But for the goalkeepers, I'm fairly sure it's that they're pretty accurate to what they should be. But uh, overall, I mean, it's a keeper. He's 73 rated. He's got a 73 rated keeper stats. There's not really much to say. And then we also have Walsh, uh, who is 60 rated. Uh, I do think Walsh is probably better than 60 rated. But bear in mind, he hasn't really played very much because obviously he is our backup keeper. Um, I don't really find it too surprising to see him low rated i would say for me personally i would say he's possibly 64 65 rated sort of on the cusp of a high bronze or a low silver i think with more game time he probably would be noticed as a as a better keeper than they've sort of given him credit for here but when he's not played too much i get it into the outfield and we're going to start with the defense and we're starting with Jimberto carlos aka jimmy dunn now He's not the quickest, but I would say he's slightly quicker than 55. But 55 pace, pretty low shooting, which is relatively fair. He has scored a bang or two, but that is what it is. Uh, the passing is not very high. Dribbling, uh, you know what? I'd be I'd be tempted to say I think his agility and balance is maybe ever so slightly higher than it is there with maybe a little bit more dribbling, personally. Uh, but 57 dribbling across the board um, and... For a centre-back, which he's been given, I'm going to assume he can also play right back uh, because he has been for like the last six or so months um, with 69 defending and 71 physicality. Uh, pretty low stamina, which surprises me. I, I would have probably had him in, in the low 70s, uh, but good heading accuracy, good jumping, great strength. Overall, for a 69 rated card, it's not too bad, uh, but it is a card that you would have to play at centre back. I don't think you can run Jimmy Dunn at right back in, in Ultimate Team. That would be awful without some form of pace boost. Going on to El Capitan, Mr. Steve Cook, uh, even slower, which uh, Steve Cook isn't a very quick player. I don't think he would argue with that, um, but his positioning and stuff definitely makes up for it in game. It's kind of what he's, he's really good at. Um, 34 shooting, again, fair. 55 passing, probably fair. Uh, 57 dribbling, again, in all honesty, absolutely fine. I'm filming this the day after our 2 1 away win at Luton. Uh, so I think he should have at least four star skill moves for that little cheeky nutmeg yesterday, but we'll worry about that another time. Uh, 73 uh, defending and 75 physicality. Again, I'd say a lot of those stats are pretty fair in the defense and physicality areas. Um, stamina wise, probably about right uh he doesn't really get subbed off particularly often so it's not a matter of he sort of gets knackered and, and can't really last the 90 minutes but i'd probably say it's roughly fair he's not a spring chicken uh great strength uh great aggression and 73 uh on every single defending stat for some reason is just it just really satisfying i really like that his partner in climb is Jake Clark Salter. Uh, 64 pace, which I feel is maybe a little bit on the lower side. I'd have, I wouldn't push it to 70, but I'd maybe just have it slightly higher in the 60s, 67, 68 sort of vibe. But 33 shooting, 53 passing, which again, probably relatively fair. Short and long passing being the main two things paying attention to. I'd say his vision is ever, slow, ever so slightly higher. Um, you could kind of argue that with Cook as well, because they do find those nice passes through. So I'd say the vision maybe should be a little bit higher. Agility and balance being relatively low is a bit of a shame. Uh, but overall, I would say that's probably a fair dribbling stat for him as well at 51. 74 defending and 75 physicality. Um, again, in all honesty, I think that's all pretty accurate. I haven't really got anything that I would massively disagree with there. Um, I'd say the strength maybe could have been pushed to 80, but overall, I don't think there's anything to complain at. 72 rated, 
and I think it's fair. Then a bit of a forgotten man in Morgan Fox, 68 rated, which uh, I think it's a very similar card to his base card last year. And bearing in mind, he didn't really feature much. I know there were some injuries sort of situations going on, but also just the fact that he really isn't a first choice at the moment, uh, or I don't really see him being much of a first choice at all this season. Uh, but yeah, I'd say the stats are probably relatively fair, 60 pace, um, and then 43 shooting, 57 passing. And a lot of those passing stats, I think are pretty accurate. Good crossing, uh, by the way. Um, bear in mind, he can obviously play on that left-hand side as well. Uh, 61 dribbling, 69 defending, and 70 physicality. I would say overall, that's probably relatively fair. I would say his defensive awareness maybe could be a touch higher, and his slide tackling could be a touch higher. Maybe a little bit up in the aggression, but overall... I think it's probably a fair card, but I don't think many QPR fans, uh, I don't know about you guys, would use Fox over the other two players uh, or the other options we have for centre-backs and on the team. Then the new man in Morrison, uh, 64 rated. Uh, I know obviously he had a loan spell out at Wigan last year and from what I hear, had a pretty decent time. So I think 64, 65 was probably going to be the rating I was expecting. 53 pace, again, he's not the quickest of players. Um, he is a centre-back anyway and, and not many centre-backs are particularly rapid. 31 shooting, 45 passing, 53 dribbling, 65 defending and 65 physicality. I'll be entirely honest with you guys and say I've not seen much of Morrison playing. Obviously, I've seen him uh, in the games he has been playing for QPR. Um, and I saw a couple of like clips and stuff when we were linked to them and, and obviously then we picked him up. So my sort of viewing of him uh, player wise is a bit limited, but um, there's no stats that massively jump out there from the things that I've seen that I would hugely disagree with. I'd maybe just argue stamina a little bit. Uh, it does just seem a little bit unnecessarily low, but 64 rated again, maybe with some Evos down the line. Could be a fun little Evo card. Now, I know he has just left us, but Reggie Cannon did finally have a QPR card. It'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, the release of that because we didn't have a Reggie Cannon card all of last FC. FC24, according to Ultimate Team, Reggie Cannon simply didn't exist. Um, but it's quite a shame in regards to a foot sense that uh, we won't be using him because it's actually a really, really nice card. 86 pace with a really good split, uh, 36 shooting, 57 passing, uh, 67 dribbling, 67 defending, and 82 physicality. Uh, it is a card that you would need to boost that defending uh, because defensively, it's not great. And in all due respect, personally, defending was never Reggie Cannon's strongest point. Um, but overall, it's actually, it was quite a nice card, but I don't think we're going to see this card anymore. And if we do, it probably won't be a QPR card. Um, again, a bit odd that the entire season last year, we also didn't get a Reggie Cannon card. He's kind of a bit of a forgotten man in Ultimate Team because he basically didn't exist for us. On the left-hand side, we do have Kenneth Powell, uh, who is uh, 71 rated and probably pretty fair. Had some really, really good moments um, at QPR and has maybe just petered off a little bit in regards to some of those performances um, in the blue and white. But it is what it is. I think 71 is probably a fair rating. I wouldn't have been too argumentative if it was 72 either but that's absolutely fine 81 pace which i think is pretty accurate 51 shooting 68 passing i would argue maybe uh the long passing and crossing could have been just a little bit higher um maybe i know that the crossing can be a bit inconsistent but he does get plenty of really good balls into that box uh, obviously got an assist yesterday actually for frey as well but overall 68 passing is probably relatively fair 72 dribbling I think also pretty fair. Uh, agility and balance, I would agree with uh, being relatively high there. Defending 65, I'd maybe say in some places he could have got a touch higher, maybe only to like a 67. But I do, th again, I'm not going to complain about 65. It is a touch on the low side in regards to an actual stat, but it's probably somewhat accurate. And then 72 physicality. Again, I don't think I'd massively disagree with any of the stats there. I think jumping, uh, he is... He's got a good jump in him for a little lad. Uh, stamina, I think, is pretty accurate. And strength and aggression, I'd agree with that too. So 71 rated and not a bad little card. Now, I'm including Heverson Santos here as a defender, but I don't think anyone understands if he's a right back, a right winger, a right mid. We don't know. But Heverton Santos, here he is. QPR card, 70 rated. Uh, and again, I've only seen bits and pieces of him. Uh time that he's played with us um, and also like Morrison I watched a couple of clips of him when we were linked with him and then when we picked him up uh, but 79 pace with a perfect uh, pace split 57 shooting 64 passing 70 dribbling 64 defending and 72 physicality from my again very limited time actually watching him play I don't have a crazy abundance to sort of weigh in here as to whether I agree or disagree with a lot of that um but those are his stats it's kind of the really boring answer I have for you there um Looks like an interesting little card. Probably 
a slightly better choice in a foot sense to use at right back over Jimmy Dunn. Um, but I just love Jimmy Dunn, mate. I don't want to not use Jimmy Dunn. Uh, but Heverton Santos, it'll be interesting to see what his other positions are because I would be very surprised if he can't also play like right wing back, right mid, right wing. But time will tell. Into the midfield, I'm going to start off with Jack Colback, 69 rated. Now, Jack Colback, for anyone who watched any of my uh, 24 content, had one of the worst Evos I've ever created. He was like an 89 rated card and his highest like face value stat was like 84. It was an awful card. Uh, and this card, sadly, in a foot sense, again, not much better. 51 pace, uh, which quite slow, obviously, in the midfield. Uh, 58 shooting, 65 passing, 64 dribbling, 68 defending, and 67 physicality. Uh, I would argue, uh, firstly, the aggression, correct. Nail on the head there. I'd argue the strength maybe could have been a touch higher. Um, I personally would have almost said that the stamina would have been a bit lower there. Players like him and, and Dunn or him and Clark Salter, sort of him having more than some of those guys seems a little bit odd to me. Um, I do feel like he sort of, um, again, he's, he's not the youngest lad and I couldn't run around for 20 minutes, let alone 70 minutes. But I think once he hits that sort of 60, 70 minute mark, he does get a little bit leggy and I, I'm surprised to see the stamina that high. But it is what it is. Defensive awareness, I agree with. Uh, standing and slide tackling, I maybe would have put a touch higher, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and overall, I don't think there's much else that I really disagree with stats wise. But yeah, sadly, in a foot sense, not a great card. Now on to a bit of a better card, I would say here. And we're looking at Dembele. Uh, love him. I'm already falling in love with him as a lone player. I know we've got that option to buy at the end, but uh, if we don't buy him, I will cry. Uh, beautiful looking card here with some really, really nice stats to start off with. 83 pace, phenomenal. Not a bad pace, but it's within five, so I'm happy. The shooting and passing, obviously a touch on the lower side, but this card really does like, if you just put like a dead eye on him, you're looking at like low 70s in shootings, low 70s in passing, and all of a sudden for a 70 rated card to have 83, 70, 70, 74, that's not bad at all. Um, he is going to be a card that I just absolutely want to be able to throw Evos onto. I do worry we're going to get a bit of a Sinclair Armstrong uh, syndrome in regards to Evos where he fits one or two and then doesn't fit any for months. And so he's kind of just stuck on this rating. But hopefully if they do change the way Evos are happening and that it's not based on the stats on the card currently, but it's based on what the stats are going to go to, hopefully we won't have that issue. But four star, three star as well is quite nice. Um, I think he maybe could have pushed a four star weak foot, but four star, three star, I think is also very, very fair. Main stats really to look at here, 91 agility and balance. Incredible, 92 balance, I should say. Absolutely incredible. Great ball control with good dribbling as well. 64 stamina is a touch low um, and he's not very physical. He's probably going to be pushed off the ball relatively easily. And I would say he's actually a bit more physical than that's maybe given him value for. He's actually quite good at holding players off and, and uh, riding a bit of a tackle and being able to get past them with that combination of pace and being able to sort of get himself free of it. Um, but I guess that sometimes can be a little bit hard to, to attribute in a FIFA sense because he's not a, you know, he's not this big burly lad. Um, it's kind of like Chris Woolock. He's a lot more physical often than he lets on. Um, and he's able to ride tackles a lot better than you expect. But overall, I'm not upset with this card at all. Uh, and I, this this guy is going to be just Evo's galore for me, hopefully. Back into a defensive sense, we're looking at Sam Field, 71 rated, and I think a very justified rating. I, I personally would have made him maybe 73 or 74, but that could just be a little bit of personal bias because I just love Sam Field, and I think he's a criminally underrated player. 56 pace, probably fairly accurate. Uh, he's not the quickest guy. Um, and I do agree that his acceleration and sprint speed split is similar to that. I, I think that's very fair. 54 shooting. Um, he's got a decent long shot on him, which is why it's his best stat. The rest of it, probably pretty accurate as well. Uh, 62 passing, I think I would agree with there as well. Um, and the agility and balance being not amazing. Probably also relatively fair. Good composure, which I agree with there. So 64 dribbling overall. 72 defending. I think that's pretty good. Um, I can't complain about that. I would personally say maybe slightly higher slide tackling because he has got a good slide tackle on him. But overall, I agree with the uh, the stats uh, being distributed like that. Defensive awareness, I agree with as well. Uh, and 67 physicality uh, with 77 stamina being the main highlight. Again, personally, I agree with it. I think it's uh, a very, very fair looking card. The only thing I would say is the stats don't really work out to be a 72 rated CDM or a 71 rated CDM. So... As much as I kind of agree with the stats, I think they maybe should be ever just a little bit higher if he's going to be a 71 rated card, which for me, like I say, I think he should maybe be slightly higher than 71, but not a bad looking card. The pace is the main issue, I think. 
Then into Ilias Chair, the GOAT, the main man himself this season, I think. Um, I cannot wait for him to come back. I really cannot wait for him to come back. Him, uh, Sato and uh, Dembele are just going to be a beautiful trio to watch. Uh, but 74 rated, again, I think fair. Um, as much as I'd love to be in 75, I do get it. Um, you know, we were a team in and around the bottom of the table for pretty much the entire season last season. So uh, it's... Yeah, it's probably a fair rating. But uh, 79 pace, probably pretty accurate. I think there are some players that we've maybe looked at that you could argue aren't much slower than Ilias Chair uh, that have considerably less pace. But it is what it is. Pace isn't Chair's like main attribute, but he's got a nice pace uh, stat on here. Shooting, um, I'd say personally, slightly higher on the finishing, slightly higher on the long shots. Overall, though, probably pretty accurate. Um not many QPR players will have a great penalty stat based on our general pe penalty output over the last few seasons. But uh, yeah, not upset with the the shooting bar, the finishing and long shot maybe being a touch on the low side of things. Passing, very good. I'd say his long passing could be a touch better. Um, and I'd say personally, his crossing could be a little bit higher. Uh, but overall, 71 passing, not bad at all. 78 dribbling. Yes, please. Absolutely here for that. 88 agility, 90 balance. Good reactions, ball control. Very nice dribbling and composure as well. Absolutely here for it. Low on defending, probably pretty accurate. Low on physicality, probably pretty accurate. Again, I'd say he rides tackles relatively well. I'd say probably Dembele actually seems to ride it a bit better. I think it's more that Chair is happier to, to win a foul, uh, whereas Dembele is like, I'm going to keep this ball and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get nearer to the box, whereas Chair will happily take a foul a bit quicker, I think, which is you could criticize it or not it's up to you 81 stamina though lovely uh overall really good card again i'm really thinking about um making my um series based on a player like we've done eze to glory we've done tarab to glory and stuff uh we did uh armstrong army last year i think it's time we do an Ilias chair one maybe let me know your thoughts i did mention sato just now uh we haven't had any confirmation of sato's card so i thought i would just show you uh it, it's a blank screen uh because the bit where it says sato's name is at the top i've only just realized that and i've cut it off the picture uh but there is no sato card yet so my bad still in the midfield dixon bonner uh a player that i think i'm surprised he didn't end up with a loan move after we picked up some of the other players that we've picked up and the amount of players we've got in the midfield now but Overall, I'd say it's a slightly underwhelming card. I'd say 64 or 65 is probably a fair rating for him. Uh, just going through the stats, uh, 60 pace, 54 shooting, 62 passing, 66 dribbling, 58 defending and 60 physicality. Uh, I probably wouldn't disagree with much of what's on there, in all honesty. I don't think there's any stats that I'm overly against. I maybe wouldn't have been surprised to see the defending just up a little touch. Um... Other than that, I think across the board, it's probably pretty fair. Again, I think there's more to see from Dixon Bonner. I think he's a real good little player that we haven't seen the most of yet. Um, and with the options we've got, I'd be surprised if he ends up being a bit of a first teamer for much of this season. Um, maybe when, like, there are times where Colback gets a little bit leggy and stuff, like I mentioned earlier, he might get a bit of a chance. But I just think him and Colback are very different style players. So it's not really much of a like for like. Time will tell, though, but I think a 64 on Dixon Bonner, probably relatively accurate. Another new signing, we have Madsen, 72 rated. Again, I've only seen the bits and pieces of what he's done for us, and I did watch a couple of highlight reels, uh, which was a lot of penalties um, from uh, from Madsen over the last couple of seasons. Um, but yeah, let's have a little gander into the card. 58 pace, doesn't look to be the quickest, so probably relatively accurate. Uh, 62 shooting. Uh, I mean, 87 penalties probably definitely does bring that stat up a little bit there. Um, and that's because I think he scored eight last season, I think it was. Uh, good shot power. Um, his positioning seems relatively good when he's getting in that box. He finds that space quite nicely. Um, that seemed to be a real good little attribute of his. Uh, the goal he scored against Luton, for example, found a really nice position after Frey did just the most work. Much love to him. Um, so, yeah, happy with that uh, overall. I think that's a pretty accurate shooting stat. 73 passing, I'd have to say. It seems pretty accurate. Got a really nice pass in him. Good, uh, good array of passes. Finds good short passes. Finds good long passes. Good vision. Uh, so this seems like a pretty accurate stat there as well. Uh, 69 dribbling. I'd say his ball control is pretty good. I'd say maybe the composure's a little bit higher would be one of the things I'd maybe argue there. Um, he does seem to be... I don't know if this, this is life adjusting to the championship. He does seem sometimes to be a little bit slow to do something, to react to somebody maybe getting close to him or putting a tackle in sometimes. But uh, there are also times where even though that's happening, he's composed enough to 
flick it over them or to like play it past them or, or whatever. So uh, I, I would say maybe slightly higher on the composure in my personal opinion. Defending 67, again, probably relatively accurate. I know he would prefer to play slightly further forward in that midfield, but he is able to play slightly deeper. Um, even played left mid uh, yesterday, which is kind of crazy. Uh, physicality, again, looks pretty accurate. Doesn't seem a like crazy aggressive player. Uh, seems stamina wise, that's probably relatively fair. Again, I'm kind of basing off of mainly being with us because I've not seen full 90 minutes of him um, at his previous teams. I've seen highlights. That's all I've seen. But uh, yeah, 72, one of our higher rated cards. Um, and he does seem like a good little classy player. Talking of class, we're into Lucas Anderson. Uh, 74 uh, pace, 65 shooting, 69 passing, 72 dribbling, 36 defending and 56 physicality. Um, just sort of jumping out the gate, I think 70 is probably a relatively fair rating. I, I was thinking anywhere between 69 and 71. So 70 fits into that very nicely. Um, pace probably relatively accurate i i maybe would have argued he's a touch slower than 74 pace but you know it is what it is i, I maybe would have argued that would have been a touch slower um i would say who oh, i was thinking about this with the shooting i think i don't know how to word this i'm kind of torn between the shot power being slightly too high and the finishing being slightly too low so it kind of works out that maybe it would stay within the 65 rating but uh yeah i hope that makes sense uh passing i'm slightly surprised that the crossing's not a little bit higher and the long passing's maybe not uh, a little bit higher but that's you know 69 passing it's a 70 rated card so it's probably really relatively accurate i maybe would have pushed it to 70 that's maybe just personal preference 72 dribbling uh re pretty nice uh, actual stat distribution on that so in game that's actually not a bad little uh, thing i would say what we've seen this season his reactions is pretty pants uh <laughs> he doesn't really react very well to scenarios changing around him at the moment hopefully that's just a bit of an early season situation but uh it is what it is heading accuracy and jumping He's pretty good in the air. I think Anderson's quite good in the air. So I maybe would have seen those be a little bit higher, but fair enough. Uh, otherwise, I think overall, the stat attribution on the defending and physicality is pretty accurate as well. So 70 for Anderson. And again, I think that's probably a good rating. Into Jonathan Varane, 68 rated CDM. Again, I've only seen bits and pieces of him, uh, but 59 pace. Uh, again, looks relatively accurate. Doesn't seem the quickest, but doesn't seem crazy, crazy slow. Uh, 46 shooting haven't seen him shoot too much so i haven't got too much to comment on that one 62 passing i would argue his short and long passing and his vision would be slightly higher um based on the bits at qpr there have been a couple of games uh where he's maybe been not quite on the boil but that first game where he came on um against west brom yes we lost the game but he was actually playing passes all over the gaff and it was it was lovely to watch he came on and actually made a real real good impact in that sense um i did have some really good nice passing the other day as well so i'd maybe argue the passing stats could be slightly upped a little bit 6-5 dribbling i don't think there's too much that i would query with on that one that that all looks pretty accurate to me uh 62 defending again relatively similar um i don't really have much in the way of changing on that that from what i've seen and again 72 physicality good stamina decent strength all looks pretty accurate to me i think that's probably uh, a pretty fair card and uh again with a couple of evos that could be a good fun little card to use Paul Smith, uh, sort of on that borderline attacker or midfielder, uh, but he is up next. Pace 90, of course, the guy's rapid. Uh, 59 shooting, honestly, probably probably pretty accurate on that one, I would say. Um, he is one of the criticisms that I think a lot of QPR fans have of him is just that finishing and just getting that final thing into the back. And it does have goals in him. We have seen that plenty of times before. Uh, but for me, Smith is the player you want to get through to then play it into somebody to get it into the back of the net. Um, but man, phenomenal performance when he uh, came on off the bench yesterday as well. So love you paul uh 60 passing again looks pretty good uh i wouldn't really disagree with too much of it i'd maybe up the crossing just a little bit um personally but otherwise there's not much i disagree with on on the passing stats there 71 dribbling 90 agility and 89 balance phenomenal uh for uh a lot of cards you wouldn't complain about that especially early doors at all um but yeah, really, really nice. Uh, good dribbling. Composure, uh, reactions and ball control a little bit on the lower side for a 71 thing. But that's because the agility and balance is just so astronomically high in comparison. But again, probably relatively accurate. 40 defending. I would say personally, his defensive awareness should be a little bit higher personally. Um, I think 
His, his heading accuracy and, and defensive awareness, I think, almost could swap uh, personally because he does get back really well. Played right wing back for a period of time for us uh, in his first stint at the club um, and was pretty decent at it. But obviously defending is not his main thing, but he's actually not terrible at it. Um, and then physicality being 55, I'd probably say a lot of that's pretty accurate. Um, strength and aggression, probably relatively fair. Uh, you could maybe up the strength a little bit, but I'm not going to complain about where the stats fall on that one. But overall, again, Smith looks like a good fun card, but with a chem style and a couple of Evos, could be very good. Into the strikers, we're looking at Frey up first. Uh, 57 pace, he's not that rapid, um, so that's very fair. Again, I personally would probably swap the acceleration and sprint speed. I think he gets to top speed very well and very quickly. The top speed's not crazy quick is the only thing. Um, but yeah, overall, again, 57 pace, pretty accurate shooting. I'm here for. Um, I haven't got too much to disagree with on that one. Uh, we saw him score a very nice volley the other day. Up until then, I can't think of many times I've seen him take volleys. So haven't got too much to throw in that one. But probably 71 shootings, pretty fair, pretty accurate. Passing, um, I would say maybe the short pass could be slightly higher. But overall, 62 on a striker. Again, that's fine. That's a, a decent stat. 61 dribbling, I'm okay with the agility and balance. He is quite a tall, big lad, so you expect them to be a little bit on the lower side of things. Uh, the composure is high, and I agree with that as well. Uh, dribbling, he is quite good with the ball. He's got a good, uh, good ball control and stuff as well. Um, but again, it, it's probably that probably is a pretty accurate stat. Uh, defending, he's a striker. You don't expect it to be high. Good heading accuracy, and I agree with that too. And the physicality stat as well, yes, absolutely. Very physical, very strong. A uh, good level of aggression, good in the air. Uh, and actually, yeah, I agree with the stamina. He he runs for 90 minutes. If you keep him on the pitch from minute one to minute 90, he will just keep going. Uh, I often look at him and think he is going to be knackered soon. And he just still is sprinting around, closing the keeper down, closing defenders down. Fair play to him. Quite a nice card, this one. Uh, the pace is, is a bit low and would need a boost. But uh, overall, I'm not upset with that. It's actually quite a fun little card. You could argue maybe slightly more suited to an SC25 uh, Ultimate Team Meta. It's a silver card, so not meta. But Jancella is up next. 74 pace, so is quicker. Uh, has got a nice pace stat there. Shooting stats are pretty good too, uh, with uh, 72 overall. But some really good uh, stats, like 74 finishing. Lovely. 75 shot power, also very nice. And good positioning as well, so finding himself in the right place at the right time. 57 passing, I'd probably say that's pretty accurate. Um, does do pretty well with getting the, the balls off to people. Some nice little one-touch pass and stuff so i'd agree with 57 passing although some of the stats are quite low and 57 is not very high the part the stats are in the right places uh dribbling agility and balance i was slightly surprised to see him so far apart i'd maybe have said 70 on both or around that on both would have been pretty accurate but that's fine uh ball control seems decent dribbling composure not bad for a silver as well uh 27 defending again he's a striker i don't expect that to be high but 70 heading accuracy and the physicality good in the air 74 stamina 77 strength again i don't disagree with any of that um but 71 rated striker and again this is a card that will be really good with a, a good chem style and a good evo or two now he doesn't have a player face and he's only 60 rated but it is rayan coley i love coley what a guy what a player uh and again Another player that I'd love to get some good Evos onto. Uh, he is a player for me that I'm gutted he's not going to get much game time for us, it doesn't seem. Um, and I think a, a lone move would have been perfect for him. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about stats. 77 pace with a perfect pace split. Yes, please. 58 shooting. Probably pretty fair. Passing. Uh, I'd say personally the short, long and curve could have gone up a little bit. Uh, but he is a young lad. 60 rated. You know, he is... He is essentially a youth, like a development player. So it's probably pretty fair that they are on the lower side of things. Agility and balance. I'd have maybe given the balance a slight boost. Um, but overall, really nice. Great dribbling uh, in, in real life and 65 dribbling on this card right now. Absolutely fair. Not a defender. So he's not going to have good defensive stats. Uh, and the stamina, I would maybe say is a big problem for this card in regards to it makes it very hard to use. Um, but, you know, personally... It's there's nothing that really jumps out from this card that I'm like, they've absolutely ruined Coley's card. He's a young lad who's making a name for himself. We'll see where he develops. But again, 60 rate for Coley, probably fair. There are a couple of our development squad players in there as well. So we do have Benny, uh, who is 58 rated, 73 pace, 52 shooting, 49 passing, 62 dribbling, 21 defending and 55 physicality. Again, I've only seen bits and pieces of him, so I don't have much into way for like, do I think this is a good card or not or accurate to him? I don't know. But uh, 58 rated, I thought I'd include some of the youth players because some of them do have cards. As is Mateo Salomon, our backup keeper. All I've seen of Salomon, uh, apart from a couple of uh, the development squad games, 
is the warm-ups. So I have nothing to add here in regards to is this accurate. But 55 diving, 52 handling, 53 kicking, 54 reflexes, 29 speed, and 52 positioning. He's a youth keeper. Fair enough. Alex Aroha has yet again got into Ultimate Team. Happy for him. Uh, 57 rated, so slightly improved. Fair play to him as well. Uh, 65 pace, 44 shooting, 57 defending, 63 dribbling, 46 defending. Sorry, I've said defending somewhere else there. I don't know where I send it, but you you guys can see the stats on screen as well. 46 defending and 52 physicality. Uh, again, I've only seen bits and pieces of Aroha, so I don't have much to weigh in here. But again, I, I've managed to get him to, I think, a 94 rated card in uh, 24. So it'll be interesting to see if I manage to get Aroha up again massively this year. But uh, just a, another young QPR player in the, in the game. Alfie Tuck uh, is in the game as well. Uh, I'm fairly sure this is Alfie Tuck. It, it's the same nation. It's the right position. It doesn't have a face. So I'm kind of assuming this is also Tuck. Um, also, being the same rated as Aroha, probably like relatively fair uh but 62 pace 33 shooting 52 passing 52 dribbling 53 defending and 61 physicality again just a card that would need an evo it's basically for a lot of these youngsters if you can't fit one of the main team players in or you have a particular affiliation with the development squad players then you probably would only evo these sort of as backups but uh yeah, again, a decent split for the rating, so could end up being pretty good with lots of Evos. And our latest signing, he's not necessarily a youth player. He's coming in, I think, to be sort of part of the first team squad. Uh, but Ashby uh, obviously signed him on deadline date with Cannon departing. Uh, but 75 pace, 44 shooting, 53 passing, 59 dribbling, 56 defending, and 62 physicality. I can't remember where it was he was on loan last year. I don't know if it was Sw like Swansea or Cardiff. I can't remember. I have a feeling it was one of the two... Uh, teams in wales though but uh I've, I've not seen loads of him so i don't have much to weigh in in regards to is this an accurate card or not but overall 63 rated the the stat split isn't awful decent starting pace good starting stamina as well the defending and dribbling would need to go up comfortably but a lot of the splits it's quite like average across the board so like 56 defending uh, the stats go from 50 to 60 in the defending blocks 59 dribbling they go from 51 to 67 like th there's not a huge spread in them so with good evos this card could actually end up being pretty solid for you um but yeah it'll be interesting to see what Ash ashby does for us because i don't know much about him but those are the qpr player ratings for fc25 it's been a bit of a long one uh i do waffle a little bit and i apologize for that but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of these players players that you think have either got too high ratings too low ratings specific stats that you would personally change um and let me know if there's any other players you'd like to see players like lloyd for example sadly wasn't in this uh i can't find his card anywhere otherwise i'd have included lloyd in there as well but uh yeah thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it hit the sub button if you're new and turn notifications on to be told anytime that we upload but for now thanks for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon look after yourselves and of course wash your hands take care